Donegal, of course, is renowned for its beauty and amongst the most popular tourist attractions for overseas visitors are Malin Head, the Inch Levels, Fonnet Head Lighthouse and, of course, Sleeve League right here behind us. Michael Heaney from Donegal County Council spoke to us about their development. We're developing a number of um, destinations along the Wild Atlantic Way, a number of um, key destinations which would include Schlieve League, Fanad Head Lighthouse and Malin Head and Inch Levels where we are here today. If you take Schlieve League first of all, um, Schlieve League are the highest sea cliffs in Europe. They're a spectacular location, very well known worldwide to people that would be have an interest in that type of thing. It's important to get that access to it because people are coming in quite large numbers. Um, people are coming by car, people are also coming by bus. So it's very important that you have the facilities there to welcome people and to make sure that they have a good experience. So the road access, car parking, coach parking, as well as the pathways themselves around the cliffs and the walks attached to the cliffs are very important. And we've been enabled with the assistance that we've received um, from Falch Ireland and from the European Union Interreg 4A Fund and through the resources made available by Donegal County Council itself to put a fairly good project in place there which will bring it up to the standard required in order to cater for the very large amount of visitors that already come there but that will increase over the next few years. Fanet Head Lighthouse, I think it was voted there recently as the second most spectacular lighthouse in the world. We're working with Irish Lights and with the local community there to develop Fanet Lighthouse. Now that lighthouses are automated, buildings themselves, um, while not totally defunct, aren't required to the level that they used to be. Um, I think that it was a very innovative idea by Irish Lights to come to the local community and to ourselves and to say, now can we develop this as a tourism uh, attraction, as a tourism product that'll benefit the local community. It's going to be a spectacular location which will have a visitor centre that people can come, they can visit, they can go up to the top of the lighthouse itself and see the spectacular views. And there's also going to be accommodation there for people that want a different type of holiday to come and stay in a lighthouse, a very authentic lighthouse experience to stay there in a very spectacular location. Another important location along the um, Wild Atlantic Way is Malin Head. So depending on which side you start from, the Wild Atlantic Way either starts or ends at Malin Head. So um, again, a very spectacular location, the most northerly point in Ireland, a, a place that's been attracting people for years. Again, we're working with the local community, with Falcha Ireland and with others, to actually develop that to its full potential. And in recent, over the past year, we've developed the pathways there. We're now improving car parking, coach parking, putting other facilities into place there. So we're on to phase two now, and phase three will see an iconic project being delivered there. So it, it's a massive resource, not just for the local community, but for Donegal as a whole, for, for the Northwest region, and indeed for the island as a whole. Inch Levels is a world-class sanctuary for wildlife, for birds. Um, we've been working with National Parks and Wildlife over the past number of years, um, assisted by the Interreg 4A programme to actually um, put facilities in place here to make sure that the whole area is conserved to the highest possible standard um, but as well as that to make it accessible for visitors so you can see around here now that it is very accessible um, there's very good car parking there are um, pathways um, built in a very environmentally sensitive way all around the sanctuary so that people can take the nine kilometer walk all around the lake here um, they can use the bird hides and other areas to actually observe the um, very special species of birds that you can see here. And um, we're delighted to have this um, sanctuary here at the side of Loch Swilly, considering that at the other end of Loch Swilly, um, we've got a world-class attraction in the um, basking sharks that are to be seen there and that have um, recently been featured on international television. So in terms of the wildlife that's available here in the general Loxwilly region and the general Donegal region, again, it's world class. Um, people have been coming from all over the world. All of these developments are being done in a very sustainable way because we realize that it's only by sustaining and consolidating the natural resource that we have that we're gonna have a resource to benefit our community into the future. Thank <laughs> you.